when you're doing the 3D laser scanning, the field can immediately get heat mapping reports. So they're able to detect any highs, high and low points in the concrete while the concrete is still wet. But there is also other types of data that can be drawn from these 3D scans that take a little bit longer than 8 to 10 minutes that we can produce out in the field. So what the VDC department can do is we can grab that data and we can create things like 3D models of the structure or existing conditions for site layout or MEP layout. So other than the wet concrete scanning, we can use this technology to verify things like elevator and stairwell shafts, um, edge of slab conditions. We can scan in existing spaces and model MEP coordination in tight areas. Um, it really just lets us collect a lot of very accurate as-built information so that we know we're, we're working around the correct conditions and planning for those. We're looking at taking the software we already use and incorporating it into the 3D scanning and taking those scans and bringing that into virtual reality and then eventually into augmented reality where if we're doing heat scans of concrete you can bring it into an augmented world almost immediately where you can physically see the low points and high points not just on your laptop but you can see it in front of you where the concrete lies. Using the heat map allows us to analyze data real time which affords us the ability to make corrections on the spot efficiently and ultimately drives best value for not only McCarthy but also the owner. For the project team, having a technology like this helps us do the work right the first time. We know of any quality incidents or potential problems before the concrete is set and eliminates rework and we can fix it while it's still easy. And then for the client at the end of the day, we'll have a lot better product, there'll be less patchwork, um, our finishes will fit in easier and everything will look and perform better at the end of the project.